Because ADP Zation needs even more weapons, Chilling Rain brings Echoing Horn, which is just a new version of Target Whistle. The effect of this item is simple, take a basic Pokemon from your opponent's discard pile and put it on their bench. With this ADP deck, it means that if your opponent benches a two prize Pokemon, they pretty much lose. You know, the strategy with ADP is pretty much the same. It's very simple, you use Alter Creation as soon as you can, bring down a, an opponent's Dedenny or Crobat with your Mawile GX, I put two of them in here, maybe it's a bit much, we'll see. But you bring down a Dedenny or a Crobat from their hand, or you know any two prizer. You knock it out with ADP, because it can do 180 damage. You accelerate energy to Zation V, and then you use Echoing Horn to put that Crobat or Dedenny back on the bench. You bosses it, and then it's game over. It's a pretty filthy strategy, and if everything goes according to plan, just like with every other match with ADP, the game is over in three turns, and that's just insane, and Echoing Horn just makes it that much easier. Now, as much as Chilling Rain helps ADP, it also hurts it. Path to the Peak is a brand new stadium that shuts off your V and GX Pokemon's abilities. Because of that, you definitely need to play at least two copies of Chaotic Swell. That just, you know, it's a stadium card, so if your opponent puts a stadium, they have to discard it, so just... You want to play at least two of these. I'd recommend three if you can fit it. And if you're planning on playing ADP in a tournament or you want to try and get some win streaks, definitely cut this small while down to one and add an Aegis slash V just because that's the only way you can beat Decidueye or Altaria. So cut them all while, add an Aegis Slash. And I also thought about playing Peony to get the cards you need when you need them, but ADP runs smoothly without it, so this is the build we're going with today. And if you're wondering about the one copy of Melanie, attach a Water Energy card from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon V if you do draw three cards. Basically, it accelerates Water Energy to one of your Pokemon V, and against Crushing Hammer and Lucario Melmetal, it can be an absolute game changer. The only issue is that this deck doesn't play a ton of Pokemon V. Uh, you got Zacian, Eldegoss, and Crobat. Realistically, you're going to use Melanie to attach the water to the Zacian. You have four copies of Energy Switch, so you'll Energy Switch onto the ADP. It, it is an extra step. It can be a little tough to pull off, but I think you only play three water energy. If your opponent hits that full metal wall on a pivotal turn, you want to get that water energy back into play as soon as possible. I think Melanie helps. Let's see if it does. So my opponent decided to go first. They're just going to Gormandize with the Snorlax, and I do not have a great hand right here. There's a Mawile. That's actually pretty good. So let's see if I can bring anyone down. Just a Giratina. Okay, that's fine. So they will have... Uh, they didn't attach an Energy, so that's really good for me. They didn't attach an Energy, so I'll just bring the Giratina down. Uh, it's, not, it's not really a big deal. Uh, yeah, I guess I will energy spinner for a metal just to put another one in the discard. I could get a water and attach it, but then I would need the energy switch. It would have been nice if I just gotten an ADP, but that didn't happen. Uh, yeah, there's no reason. I guess I should have checked to see if they have switch or scoop up net, but I was too focused on other things. Uh, yeah, I guess. <sighs> Uh, it's a it's a tough choice, but I think it makes sense to attach to the active. No, because they... No, benched one. Benched one for sure. Well, the active one for sure would have been the better call. Well, that didn't work out as planned. But, you know, it, it's a it's an ADP-zation deck, and I, I'm not seeing anything else. I'm not seeing any ADP. So yeah, they're, they're just playing a consistent build of Rapid Strike Urshifu. They got the Sinchino, they got the they, they got everything they need right now. They're probably just gonna Gormandize again because they didn't have any energy. Hopefully they don't find energy. Alright, so there's Bird Keeper. If they find energy, they're putting 150 on the Zation, and that is not good. But then I can oh, there's Path to the Peak. That's there you go. Pokemon with a rule box have no abilities. And they have the scoop up net. I was going to trade the deer. Oh, I thought they were going to trade the deer Tina. I guess they're, they might think that I have, you know, an Aurora energy or something in here. So I'm definitely in a tough spot. If I could, if I had a better hand, that would be great. Uh, well, there's Jirachi, so I could, if I get an Echoing Horn, I could bring the Jirachi down, but of course I don't have ADP. 
So let's go get ADP now. Maybe, maybe I can figure something out here. I don't think I can figure my way through this game just with the way things are going. I don't really want to lose my Great Catcher. I don't really want to lose any of this. So let's hope for the best. Okay, so Chaotic Swell goes down. I guess I attach the Water Energy to ADP, so I'll switch into you. I attach the water to ADP because I know you're not going down next turn, and then I save the quick ball. So this is this is definitely a bit janky. ADP would do 130 damage next turn. You know, can ADP win without using Alter Creation? Let's find out. I have three energy on the Zation V. I haven't played a Metal Saucer, so I have lots of resources in the deck, but this is going to be a game where I don't use Alter Creation unless they just get zero energy pretty much this entire game. You know, if they happen to use G-Max Rapid Flow this turn to do 120 to my active and then knock out the benched one, that's not horrible for me. Whoops. Because they get rid of all their energy. Because they missed that turn one energy attachment, I have a chance. If they were just cruising along, attach, attach, attach every single turn, I'm in trouble. But I have 210 on the active. I doubt they're going to heal it. They're going to have to attack with it. So I, 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 I'm I, not conceding yet, you know. Some games you know you just can't come back from. I have my Chaotic Swell down. They can't play Path to the Peak unless they also play Marshadow. But this deck seems to have quite a bit going on. I don't think they'd have room for a Marshadow. Fingers crossed. And there's, there's the energy. So the energy's coming down. They're definitely going to use G-Max Rapid Flow. So I will definitely bring the Jirachi GX onto their bench. So that way they're limited to only one more bench Pokemon. Okay, Echoing Horn, let's go get the Jirachi. Let's get you out of there. I have Energy Switch. So if I, I think, yeah. So I attach the water to the ADP. I Energy Switch the Metal onto the Z. Yeah, okay. Because then I need to quick ball. This is perfect. Uh, I I don't have to quick ball anybody. Uh, I could go get Elvigas and then just Marnie. Because that way... But I mean, they have two Sinchino in play. Does it really matter? But I can't have anyone who's weak to fighting right now. Just because they could evolve... What's the what's the attack name? They could use Gale Thrust. Yeah, I don't want to I don't want to be in that position, so I'll just use Professor's Research. At this point, I want to have more cards. It's it's more important for me to have more cards than it is for them to have less cards because they have that Sinchino. So now I'm in an interesting position. I could use Alter Creation. That is something I could do. If I use Alter Creation, then I still need to knock this out. They would, but they'd be able to do 150. They wouldn't take multiple prizes. Ah, uh, oh, this is this is tough. So if I use Alter Creation, okay, well let's just get rid of that. I don't want to. I've used two energy. I've used three energy switch. Okay, then it has to go there. So I will use, because then I just have to take, oh man. Well, what, it, it's an ADP deck, let's use Alter Creation. I know I, I hummed and hawed a little bit there, I'm sorry for that. It's an ADP deck, let's use Alter Creation. You know, if this works out, then I'm a genius. If this doesn't work out, then I'm an idiot. Because I'm thinking... They have the stone energy, maybe they don't have Zigzagoon. I'm assuming they probably have Zigzagoon somewhere. But if they don't have Zigzagoon, then they don't really have it. Because they could use Gale Thrust on my ADP to do 150, and then GMAX Rapid Flow would only do 120, so I'd still have a chance. I don't know. Let me know in the comments, did I make the right decision? Did I make the bad decision? There's the Marnie, that's fine. 
Uh, yeah, see? And that was another thing. I jammed up their bench, so they can't bench a Crobat or a Denny or something to help them out. Even though they have Sinchino, so it's not a big deal. There's bosses. Perfect. So I am in a great position to win the game. If they don't put any damage on me, I'm perfectly fine. Oh, nope, never mind. Okay. So here comes the the dude. Yep, there's the dude. So I think I knock out... Yeah, I have to knock out this guy. I have to knock out the, the damaged one because then I can great catcher the Jirachi. And it's just going to be a case of, do they find their Zigzagoon and their energy? If they don't, then I'm fine. If they do, then I'm not fine. So I just bosses that guy. Uh, let's put the water there. Let's ultimate ray and let's see what happens. So I can knock out, I can knock out literally anything. Uh, I guess I should probably save an energy just to be safe. So they're probably going to stamp me to two. I haven't played a Dedenny, I haven't played a Crobat, that was all intentional. Because if you play a Dedenny or a Crobat in this matchup, you're in trouble. Because they would just need to Gale Thrust or GMAX Rapid Flow, either of them, and it's game over for me. So I put myself in a position where I might not lose. They need Zigzagoon, Switch or Stoop Up Net, and Rapid Strike Energy to win. This matchup is exactly why these decks or ADP had started playing Mew is just it helps you in this matchup but again they still need Zigzagoon and they still need the Rapid Strike Energy they've been playing level ball and stuff like that and they haven't grabbed a Zigzagoon maybe they prize it maybe it's not on the list I'll check it out but this this is stressful you know it's a good game they're playing Path to the Peak I'm happy to be playing against something that has Chilling Rain cards so that's good uh, Echo Wing, I played Echo Wing Horn. That affected the game because they couldn't put another person down on the bench to help them out. No pulling. Okay. Do they have Zigzagoon? And that is game. I just need to, just need to find my great catcher or something. So uh, I just need bosses, great catcher. Anything will do. So I will. Please tell me I have two energy. Perfect. Okay. So saucer. Saucer, that goes there, burn the spinner, uh, I guess I could have done that, but we'll, we'll Crobat. If I whiff here, that would just be so sad. Okay, well no, that's, that's game then. Okay, so that's a well played. Oh, escape rope. I know I haven't made a video in a long time, but I remember escape rope helped me out the last video, or maybe it was the one before that, but escape rope just ended the game for me. It won me the game. There's nothing they can do. They send up Jirachi, it's game over. They send up Snorlax, it's game over. They send up Sinchino, it's game over. And then just manually retreat. Okay, thank you. And that's game over. So let's see, did they have the Zigzagoon? That was a very stressful game. Maybe the next game will be a little bit easier. And let's see. What what are your bets? Did they play Zigzagoon? They did. They did. They must have prized it. Whoa. That was lucky. If they, if they just played that Zigzagoon, they would have won. Because they would have put the one damage counter on the ADP. That would have been a perfect 280 for the knockout. So I I should not have won that one, but I did. Let's go to game two. Maybe it'll be the last one. Who knows? Let's find out. I won the coin flip and decided to go first. This is just the perfect starting hand. I mean, if this was, I wish this was a metal energy, but who cares? It's Dragapult. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's let's see if you have anything in your hand worth bringing down. You do not. Uh, you have nothing going on in that hand, so that's good. Uh, I can I can do that without worrying. I will do that. I'll go get Zation. Now I do have to worry if this is playing new Chilling Rain cards. You know, this is this is day one. It's sort of the in-between period. You know, is anyone playing Chilling Rain cards? Are they not playing Chilling Rain cards? We'll all find out together. But now that I have a second to breathe from that stressful game one, uh, I will mention I don't really have a lot of plans for more videos. I, I have this new ADP with Chilling Rain. I might do Trevenant and Dustnoir with Cresselia, and then I might try Blissey V. 
Uh, but that's about it. Yeah, and then maybe I'll do whatever the winner of the first tournament is. I think the first tournament's okie dokie. I think the first tournament starts. Hey, there's another ADP. Uh, well, I probably will just energy switch that there. Put that there. Echoing horn doesn't matter. I guess I just drop the crowbat. There's the saucer. Let's put that there. I guess I'll put the water energy. And you're just seeing how quickly the energy just ramps up in this deck. It's crazy. So author creation. Let's see if they have anything. I know they have energy and drag pull VMAX, but I don't know how much they can realistically do with just a drag to pull VMAX. Oh yeah, crushing hammer. Such a great card, right? But yeah, so ADP Chilling Rain, Blissey V, Trevenant and Dust Noir. Don't really have much else beyond that. Uh, oh yeah, they're just going to put five damage counters. I, I'm mostly just focused on post rotation at this point. It's September 10th for post rotation. Uh, sure. Let us Ultimate Ray, because you're just going to knock me out. Yes, Ultimate Ray. And there we go. So water, metal, and metal. Yeah, I just I'm really tired of the tag team format. You know, just big single prizes. It's getting a little old. I'm looking forward to the VMAX format. It's gonna be a little slower. Alter Creation won't be in the game. I'll be so thankful for that. Alter Creation will be gone. You can play you can finally play single prize decks again that aren't Decidueye or Altaria. And I'm just really looking forward to that. And I've been messing around with post-rotation builds of Zation V because Zation V is such an insane card. It is, I'll talk about it more closer to rotation at the beginning of September, but th this is the best card post-rotation. There, there's no other way to put it. This is the best card. You know, I know there's dragon types are coming back in Evolving Skies, but it's the best card. Come on. And so I had the Galarian Meowth build, or sorry, the Galarian Perserker build. That one lets you, so I have Switch. I don't know if I want to lose the Echoing Horn, but I don't really want any of these other cards. I guess the Switch would come in handy, but I would like to build up another Zacian. Ah, let's just, let's just, let's just wing it. I'm taking four prizes. All I have to do is knock out that Mew and it's game. They, they don't have anything, right? They're not going to reset stamp me into Oblivion. But yeah, so I played Delarian Perserker. If you get four Delarian Perserker down with Rusted Sword, you're doing an extra 110 damage. You're doing 340 damage that knocks out any VMAX. That's really good, but it's a lot of work. I also have the Banette version. Banette devolves your opponent's Pokemon that's on the bench. So that's really good. And I, I, I like the Banette version more than the Perserker version, but... Honestly, the best version is just going to be Zacian V with Echoing Horn. Just play like four of these. Because in order for your opponent to get to a V match, they have to bench a V. So if you go first with Zacian V, you're in business. If you go second with Zacian V, you can still use Metal Saucer and Turbo Patch to get energy on this thing and knock out that V turn one really easily because 230 knocks out basically every V. And then you just Echoing Horn it back and then bosses, Echoing Horn, then bosses. And it's game. You never even touch a VMAX. Do they know that? Yep, they, they've lost. Okay. So I think just Zation V with Echoing Horn is going to be an insanely good deck post-rotation. Uh, maybe you pair it with Gardevoir. I don't know. The new Gardevoir attaches energy. You got Trumbeak in there as well. There's so many things Zation V can do post-rotation that it's literally insane. And I am coining the name right now. Zation V with Echoing Horn it will forever be known as Horn Dog. Okay, the deck name will be Horn Dog. And they were oh, they did play a Chilling Rain card. They had Galarian Zapdos, so that's really good uh, against things like Eternatus or just knocking out Crobats into Denny's because you can attack for a single Fighting Energy if your opponent has three Pokemon V. But did they have anything else? No, they didn't. Okay, so we'll go to game three and see if I can win that one too. And for the third and final game, I won the coin flip and decided to go first. This is a terrible hand unless I get somebody... Nope. Terrible starting hand. 
I will be able to alter creation next turn, but I'll be losing so many pieces of this deck, or so many good pieces. Giant Hearth, okay. I'm guessing it's, what is it called, Tempozard with the Blacephalon and the Cramorant and everything. Uh, if they have Welder, they will just use out, or sorry, they'll use Double Blaze and then Flare Strike. But I can bring that Cramorant V out with Echoing Horn. I mean, would that be really stupid or would that be really smart? Because 160 can knock out a Dedenny. Uh, do they not have Welder? Okay, so they probably have Crobat or something. But I don't know. Is it worth it for me to bring out their Cramorant? Uh, well, no. They they put down a Crobat V, so... So they'll just use Double Blaze. That's fine. I can still win this game. I'll be using Alter Creation. Uh, I think I will bring out the Mew. Just, I mean, why why waste an Echoing Horn, right? Well, are you going to put anyone else in there that I want to bring out? Nope. Okay. So there's Blacephalon. That's really tough because Blacephalon is just not a fun Pokemon to deal with. But I can knock out Reshiram and Charizard with Rusted Sword and all that fun stuff. So there's a little, little late to the party there, Zacian. Okay. So Echoing Horn. Let's let's bring out the Mew. Let's do it. Let's show them that I that I play Echoing Horn. Uh, yeah, I'll just... I wish I had a Metal Saucer. You know, ADP is designed... Okay. Alright, so I will hearth that away. That's not good. So how many Metal Saucer do I have? I have four Metal Saucer. I don't have any energy in the discard, but... Best case scenario, this Zacian V goes in the active, I get another Zacian V off the research, I attach Saucer Saucer, Rusted Sword, knock out the Reshiram and Charizard, and then I'm just a any knockout away from winning. But that's the thing with ADP. You're always in every game. It's insane. You know, I'm, I'm, I had a horrible start. I got really nothing going on. I just manually attach, manually attach, alter creation. My opponent's just going off. But if I, you know, it's not impossible that I just go for it and, and win this game, which is insane. And win or lose, this will be the final game. I'm going to try and piece this together. Uh, there's energy spinner. So I think, yes, I think I will go get a metal energy. Because the way that I win this is... Oh, that was actually pretty stupid. Nah, nah, let's see what happens. I would like to get a Dedenny or a Crobat or somebody. Okay, so here's how we win. Get rid of that, go get Zation. Oh, my last Zation, okay. So Mawile is... That's not a bad idea. Okay, so there we go, Metal Saucer. I just need one more Metal Saucer, and everything is fine. I think... Do I go for Crobat or Dedenny? Is there a reason to pick one or the other? I think Crobat. Because then I can... Air Balloon... Uh, yeah, Crobat, because I have Cherish Ball. There, that's the reason why. Because I play two copies of Cherish Ball, that gets me GX only. So I think... I think I just hearth away that to get the full complement. I just need... Oh no! Okay, so... Do I have two metal? I do! This is going to be an insane finish. Okay, so just, just give me that rusted sword. Just give me the rusted sword. This will be an insane finish. I didn't check to see if it's in the deck. Oh crap. Okay, so Chaotic Swell is going down. I There's nothing I can do. Was it even in the deck? It was. Oh, that is that is just heartbreaking. So that is just a heartbreaking finish. Sure, let's bring that down. They actually... I mean, they're going to get Welder off of... Yeah, they're, they're going to get the Welder off of the Jirachi. They got a whole bunch of shenanigans they can do. 
but I, I do have to, oh, that, that is just painful. I'll keep this in the video just for the sheer heartbreak. 14 cards left in deck, the one rusted sword. That's the reason it's in the deck is for this very matchup. Yeah, and there was no reason to not hit into the Reshizard. If I don't hit into the Reshizard, they just do switch scoop up net all those shenanigans anyway. There's Fire Crystal. So I need to Marnie them. I need to... Okay, so I have to Marnie them out of everything. They have to Jirachi into nothing. I have to... Oh, man. So they still... They do still need three energy in their hand to use Blacephalon. So that will be slightly annoying, but for the most part, they've got this thing wrapped up. But you're just, you're seeing how ADP is so good. Like, it's not the best deck ever. I know I put in the title, is this the best deck ever? I don't know. Who's to say what the best deck ever is? The, the format keeps changing, but ADP Zation is such an insane deck. So did I? Okay, so I, I need to get a Metal Energy. Simple as that. All right, do I even have a Metal Energy is the question. I do have two Metal Energy. All right, Marnie. Let, you've ruined so many games for me in the past, Marnie. Just help me win this one. That's a good start. Uh, I will not be using Escape Rope. That would be terrible. And now we see they, they are not going to be able to use Giant Hearth. I don't, hopefully they don't have Marshadow. Okay, so I have a good hand. We're just going to see, do they get what they need to win? They're going to put Jirachi up front, unless they just already have everything in their hand. They preemptively used the Fire Crystal, which was a huge mis- Oh, no, it wasn't. Okay, they had enough energy. I was going to say, they used that Fire Crystal a little too early. Uh, so that's good for me. But, I mean, they- Oh. The heartbreak. The heart rate. You know, the you win the first two games, you lose the last game in just heartbreaking fashion. Maybe they can't find a scoop up net or a switch. I mean that's almost impossible at this point between Stellar Wish, but I guess yeah, if they don't Stellar Wish into Okay. I mean they can still welder. They're probably gonna get a welder off the book gear and that gets them three extra cards. Oh, and they had a tape rope. Um okay. Okay, if they didn't, they still need to get rid of four energy. Oh, they had two fires. Ah, that is just, that that just hurts. They got exactly what they needed off the Marnie. That's tough. Uh, I will test out Trevenant and Dustamore with Cresselia after this heartbreaking loss with ADP. The deck is amazing. Echo Wing Horn, maybe just play one copy of Echo Wing Horn, maybe don't play two. Uh, just play one Mawile, don't play two. I was I, I went a little overboard on the two Mawile. Uh, shouldn't it show that I want this for trade or for one or something? That I guess the latest update changed that, that's a little weird. But yeah, just go with one Mawile. Maybe get rid of Melanie, you know, just go for consistency. Uh, you might want a reset stamp. I had to get rid of the four crushing hammer. Maybe you want two rusted sword for the tag team matchups. But ADP, it's such a great deck. This will probably be my last ever video with ADP. I don't plan on doing one with Evolving Skies in August because when Evolving Skies comes out, rotation is two weeks later. I might do one or two decks that would be, you know, maybe just some really crazy decks. But this is probably my last ADP video. They've performed really well for me. Thank you to everyone who watched them. Thank you to everyone who watched this video. Let me know what changes you'd make. Again, thanks for watching, and I will hopefully see you tomorrow with Trevenant and Dustin Moore and Cresselia.